Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching JavaScript tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the assignment operator. So let's get started. All right guys, so I have opened the project folder in Sublime Text. And inside the project folder, I have created a new file, assignment-operator.html. And inside this file, I have written this HTML code. And inside the JS folder, I have created a new file and I have saved it as assignment-operator.js, which is empty. Now inside the HTML file, I have included this JS file using this script tag. Now let us go ahead and open this file in Chrome. All right. In JavaScript, like many other programming languages, the equal to sign is the assignment operator. And we use the assignment operator to assign any value to a variable. So assignment operator, which is the equal to sign. And let's say if we have a variable var x and we want to assign a value, let's say 10. So we'll write var x equal to 10. And we can check the value of variable x by writing console.log. And now if you go back to Chrome and reload, we get the value 10. Let's check another example. Let's say we have another variable var y and let's say the value is 20. And let us console log this. So we'll write console.log y. Now let's say in the next line, we want to add five to variable y. So we'll write y equal to y plus five. So we are adding the value five to the value that is saved in the variable y that is 20. And we are assigning the result of y plus five to the variable y. So in the next line, if we console.log y, we'll get 25. So let us save this file and go back to Chrome. Let me clear the console and reload we get the value 20 and in the next line we get the value 25. Similarly, let's say we have another variable var let's say a and the value is let's say 5 and let us console log a. So this line will print 5. Now let's say in the next line we want to subtract let's say 2 from the variable a. So we'll write a equal to a minus 2. So we are subtracting two from variable a and we are assigning the result to variable a. So if we console log a in this line, we'll get three. So if we save the file and go back to Chrome and if we reload, we get the value five and after subtracting, we get the value three. Now you can see that we are performing some arithmetic operations and we are assigning the value to the variable. And in JavaScript, we can combine the assignment operator and the arithmetic operator and create a shorthand notation. So shorthand notation, combining assignment operator and arithmetic operators. Let's check the addition. So let's say we have a variable var k and we have assigned a value, let's say 10 and we'll console log k. And now let's say we want to add five to the variable k and assign the new value to the variable k that is k is equal to k plus 5. So we are adding the value 5 to the value stored in variable k and we are assigning the result of this addition operation to the variable k. So we can write this or we can use a shorthand notation. So let me come in this and the shorthand notation is k plus equal to 5. And this will expand to this. So we are adding five to the value 
stored in variable k and then we are assigning the result to the variable k. So if we console log k, we are going to get 10 and then 15. So let me comment this. So now if we go back to Chrome and reload the page, we get 10 and 15. So this is a shorthand notation using assignment operator and addition operator. Similarly, we can do subtraction and assignment. So subtraction, let me comment this. So let's say we have the variable k and we have assigned the value 10 and we console log the initial value. And now let's say we want to subtract five from variable k and we want to assign the result to the variable k. So we'll write k equal to k minus five. And the shorthand notation to write the same thing is k minus equal to five. So we are subtracting five from the value stored in variable k and we are assigning the result to the variable k. So if we now console log k, we'll get the value 10 at this line and we'll get the value five at this line. So if we save the file, go back to Chrome and reload, we get the value 10 which is the initial value for k and we get the value 5 which is the final value after subtracting 5 from k. Similarly, we can combine assignment operator and multiplication operator. So let me comment this. Multiplication. So let's say we have the variable k and this time we have the value five and we can console log the initial value of k. And now let's say we want to multiply four to the variable k and assign the result to the variable k. So we'll write k equal to k star five. And the shorthand notation to write the same line is k star equal to five. So we are multiplying five to the value stored in the variable k and we are assigning the result to the variable k. So if we console log the final value of k, we'll get 5 at this line and 25 at this line. So let us save this file and go back to Chrome. And if we reload, we get 5 and 25. We can also do division. So division and let me comment this. So let's say the variable k this time has the value five and let's say we want to divide the value stored in variable k by two and we want to assign the result to the variable k. So let us first console log the initial value and now we want to assign the new result and we want to divide the value stored in k by two and the shorthand notation for this is k divide equal to 2. And we can console log the final value of k. So at this line, we are going to get 5. And at this line, we are going to get 2.5. So let us save this file and go back to Chrome. And if we reload, we get 5 and 2.5. Let's also check the modulus operator. So modulus. And we use the modulus operator for the remainder. So let's say the variable k has the value, let's say 5. And let us console log the initial value of k. And now let's say we want to assign the remainder when we divide the value stored in variable k by 2. So for that, we'll write k equal to k mod 2. And the shorthand notation for this is k mod equal to 2. So we are dividing the value stored in variable k 
by 2 and we are getting the remainder because we are using the modulus operator and we are assigning the remainder to the variable k. So in this line let us console log the final value stored in k. So at this line we'll get 5 and at this line we'll get 1. So let us save this file and go back to Chrome and if we reload so we get 5 which is the initial value and we get 1 which is the remainder. Alright guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series I'll put them in my github repository. You'll find all the links in the video description so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting then please like this video and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.